We cannot build our alchemical formulas from elements or substances not available to us. So the beginning of all things is to recognize that the first operation is a transmutation of physical factors, elements, and properties. In other words, purification. If it's mercury, it must be purified. If it is sulfur, it must be purified. If it is salt, it must be purified. And if it is man, he must be purified. Everything begins with the purification or the removal of the dross which limits the value and limits the survival of elements, principles, and substances. So we start with the concept of a pure material with which to work. The alchemist is given various clues and keys on how to achieve this pure material. Now, you may have to go out and work and look and search for a long time to find a pure material in workable condition, something that you can actually use. Now, the same problem applies to the person himself. The alchemist must first purify his own body and his own nature. Until the body is cleansed, its various processes cannot be refined. Because actually, all the purification in man, all the integration and organization of his abilities and capacities, all the improvement of his nature through learning, through meditation, and through contemplation, all of these things lead up to, contribute to, and make possible a final internal illumination. The final secret has to come from inside. Therefore, everything has to be refined.